So guys, I'm back after a couple of weeks break from shooting the YouTubes, I'm back in action at the Academy this morning. What I've got for you today, upon request, is a mid fade. So the last couple of videos I did, myself and Paddy worked a lot on scissor work and I'm looking to bring you some really clean uh, fades that bring some fresh appeal into the YouTubes this week. So as you can see, my model has got perfect hair for a fade. Um, and what we're gonna do is work through the top with the curls and with the movement that we have. We're gonna keep the hair quite square all over just to keep that strength. Then we're gonna work through the back and sides with a really nice clean mid fade working with the guard skipping technique. Okay, enjoy. Here was I would have jumped the gun, taken all that length off at the front, removed length from the front for no reason, then realized, uh oh, now to match that, I'm gonna have to take off a lot of length in the middle, and then hopefully connect it to the back. Okay. So, very simply, what we're gonna do is use the longer short piece at the front as the guide. Pull the head back slightly. There it is there. Nice and easy. Okay, we're not even taking off any real length, so to speak. Okay, there is some length coming off, but we're more so creating shape. There's the guide. Off the contours, okay. As you can see, I've gone slightly deeper into the head. And all I'm going to do is pretty much connect all of this excess weight back in to the head, nice and square, okay? Knuckles are resting on the last square point, fingers coming away. First section done, next section. Now that I have the guide, follow that guide each time. The guide, there's the guide nice and clear. Horizontally. Notice that my hands are moving around. So I'm matching the head shape as I get towards the front. Very important. Okay, so what we're doing is we're coming in with our double zero line roughly halfway up okay, and we're going to curve the line slightly as well. For education's sake. Zero point five first, inverted motion. Notice how the clipper is not going like this. Rather, all of the force is coming from my forearm. Okay, notice how I'm not pushing the one all the way up here. There's no need for it. Right? The one is just here, look. Just between the two lines. Right, what can happen is you start pushing your guards too high, you start losing the density, you start losing the fade. Before you know it, you've got a high zero. Okay? And keep all that density, keep that weight. A little flick this time. Okay, I'm not fussed about any weight building up above the zero yet, I'm letting that happen. Once I get rid of the zero line, back to the point five and just lift that line off.
So what we're going to actually do today, guys, is a bit of a restyle. Where here we have something that has been pretty much been worn back quite a lot. Been worn up off the face. Today is actually create a shape that can actually be worn forward. We're going to hoping to take the fringe up just a little bit as well. From that shape, we're going to create, guys. We're going to offer on this a nice little taper to the sides to really help preserve that beautiful little build-up of weight that we're going to have for the contour here. So what we're going to do is pretty much change up the dynamic of this haircut from going back to actually being worn forward and that's what you're going to see today. It's quite excessively long through the front here, you can see that. So in order for this to be worn forward you have to adjust the shape and how it sits on the head in some way shape or form. So what we are going to do is pretty much take up the length of our fringe just to above the eyes just there all right and then pretty much from that point we want to restructure and relayer the top therefore guys what we can assume if we're going to change the shape on top what else do you think would need to change the sides yeah and more specifically the, the weight that we have on the sides or the graduation so we can see if i'm to take the shorter then what we need to do is pretty much take the graduation on the side shorter. So unfortunately, if I take the shorter and leave this the same length, unfortunately I'll have a bit too much walls and not enough roof. So what we need to do is actually begin to balance everything on it. And once we do that, we correct our graduation through the back and sides. We're going to add in just a nice little tape around the edges. We're going to finish it off with a nice little shape up there as well. There, the hair is going to react and jump up. And furthermore, guys, when I put heat on this, the root is going to expand and swell out and cause the actual front hairline to attract a little bit more. So I have to just be aware of these things before I make any rash decisions. So what I am going to do is make sure the head is completely upright, first and foremost. Slightly curly hair, do we see that? Got a slight little bevel and a wave to it. So that is going to just point out to me that what I'm going to do is use my wider side of the comb, less tension, less reaction. I'm going to bring the hair straight on down, quite natural little tension there. What I'm going to do is just come just beyond the eyebrow line and just hit that little line. Lower now that the hair has been cut, just seeing how it sits right on that eyebrow there line there. That is really, really nice and that's fantastic. Bring it back and layer everything nice and horizontal. Yeah. All I'm doing is layering everything in the shape of the section. That's all it is. Alright, I'm just adapting my technique to what's in front of me very, very simply. So I'm going to crack it all right down to the section number one that was and is. Here we go. I'm going to cut that line here, more weight. So here's number three, coming back to number one. There's my little guide. I'm going to cut that line right there. I'm going to come in behind the ear. Once again, I'm going to bring number three all the way back down to number one. Check the line, put it all the line. The more over direction, the heavier the weight, the bigger the line. Okay. Lower, heavier, higher, light. Cut that line, come underneath, lift it over from the top, comes back down. How do I know I'm over directing here? Well, all I'm doing, guys, is looking at the root. Now I'm moving away from the round part of the head, where the head is flat, I'm going to elevate that section on up. Of course, bring the section nice and round. Once again, bringing that right on out to my graduated line, over directing that right down, and just building, building, building. Okay, build. Right. Number three is here, and then number two. Right underneath that. I'm just scoop that to where it needs to go. 1.5, there you go. And zero. Go that goes. And of course, going number two was. Yeah, they're really good.
Yeah, yeah, just one more is the